The annual average cost in Australia for flood damage is estimated to be more than $400 million per year. Approximately 10% of Australia's existing housing stock is at risk from various types of flooding. It's not possible to eliminate all flood risk. However, the impacts on communities can be reduced through good land use planning. Good land use planning begins by considering compatibility with potential flood risks, including public infrastructure and community facilities. And even though development can be sited between the 1% and probable maximum flood levels, planning for evacuation during extreme flood events should be considered at this stage. Subdivision planning may include flood-prone land but must not reduce the area of flood flows or flood storage. Strategic assessment of new subdivisions should include the placement of development in areas where they will have little or no adverse effects on the flood behaviour or an adverse effect on existing surrounding development and its community. Future development must be cited where flood hazards to people and property can be effectively managed, either through development controls or other mitigation measures to reduce existing or continuing flood risk to a level that is acceptable to any future community. To effectively manage any risk, the land use must be compatible with the local landscape. The layout of the subdivision should consider emergency evacuation during extreme flood events. New development should not be placed in areas that can be rapidly flooded or become quickly isolated due to rising floodwaters or from levees or dams overtopping during extreme storm events. The following figures show some examples of poor planning and simple measures that can be taken during the planning process to resolve these issues. The topography of the floodplain and flood behaviour through the site needs to be considered. This example shows a watercourse that would normally be confined during low flows, but will follow in a more direct path and at higher velocities during rainfall events. This example also highlights the difficulty in evacuating residents in a severe storm event as the subdivision would very quickly become isolated. A levee could be constructed around the subdivision. However, construction and maintenance costs of levees can be high, and a levee can be breached during storm events which exceed the design height of the wall or bank. This results in the subdivision quickly flooding, and the only evacuation route quickly cut by swift flowing flood water, making evacuation difficult. By simply adjusting the design height of the levee, it may be possible to provide more time to evacuate an area safely, enabling the land to still be used for a new subdivision. So the risk is reduced, but never totally eliminated. The next example shows a subdivision that has been placed below a water storage area, such as a retarding basin or dam. However, consideration has not been given to stormwater flows exceeding the capacity of the basin or dam. The excessive volume is also exceeding the capacity of the discharge pipeline. As a consequence, properties below the basin or dam are affected by fast-flowing surface flows. The flow path of a breach in any storage wall should be considered during the planning stage. So by simply reorientating the proposed subdivision, allowance can be made for excessive surface flows during extreme storm events or a breach in the storage wall. This results in having less impact on the residents. Yet another example shows the potentially life-threatening situation which is all too often created in the floodplain. This could occur in areas where subdivisions are created in high areas or islands of the floodplain, or where developers are permitted to fill a site to above the 1% flood level. Communities could become isolated for days or weeks on an island by rising floodwaters, creating serious issues for emergency workers. It also requires a high level of planning for the community to remain in those areas and shelter in place. If floodwaters rise above the island, there is a high risk to life where people may not be able to be evacuated or escape from floodwaters to shelter in place. 
One way of effectively managing the continuing flood risk is by implementing graduated planning control through local environment plans and development control plans. This example looks at implementing the outcomes of the floodplain risk management plan through land use planning. Determining the levels of flood risk, which will be acceptable to the future community at the outset, can then be expanded to determine the most suitable land use for that subdivision. This varies from the more traditional approach, which relies heavily on the flood planning level, generally 1% plus freeboard, to manage the flood risk. The traditional planning method tends to ignore the potential for increased vulnerability in extreme flood events. It also ignores a potential increase in cost and inconvenience to the community for public and private infrastructure, community facilities and utility services which may be subjected to inundation and or degradation from rising water tables. As well as using the floodplain risk management plan to determine land usage, the outcomes of the plan will assist in determining controls on development. Controls would include such measures as minimum floor levels, types of material used in construction, safe evacuation during a flood, minimal or no adverse effect on pre-development flood behaviour. Established urbanised or developed areas located below the 1% or PMF levels will require a continuity of essential infrastructure and services. In order for existing areas to continue to function with minimal adverse impact during flood events, the upgrade or flood proofing of buildings, structures and infrastructure is essential. Again, this would be achieved through implementing development controls on flood prone lots to ensure that all new development is above the 1% flood level or the area is protected from floodwaters by other means and safe evacuation is achievable.